Hey guys. Uh, so today uh, we're going to do a quick review on Glenfiddich Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Uh, this is the 12 year vintage. Um, this is probably what most people would consider the best or hi most highly recommended scotch for somebody to start drinking uh, if they're looking to get into single malt whiskeys or single malt scotches. Uh, so let's go ahead and crack this open and get right into it. So explain to me what a single malt whiskey is. Because this is my first time trying whiskey, so that's why we're trying the beginner whiskeys. Sure. Uh, yeah, so a single malt scotch or a single malt whiskey is made from a single mash, which is the the grains and stuff that they they mash and ferment mm. and get the alcohol from. Um, so with a, a single malt, they, it's from one mash, whereas a, a blended whiskey or blended scotch is going to be from... Uh, multiple mashes. Mm. So would you say that multiple mash or blended whiskeys have a more complex and full-bodied flavor compared to a single malt whiskey? Uh, no. No, okay. I, I think they're just different. Okay. Yeah. Um, they definitely can. They can, but um, I, I think that the, the single malts are better. Yeah. So. Alright. Well, All let's right. try. Let's, let's give it a Give it a go. I'm just gonna put this guy up here, and let's crack this open. All right. So when you're trying whiskeys, apparently you have to get a fancy glass, uh, like this, to uh, I don't know, smell it and taste it properly. Yeah, it um, it gives you a good chance to get the. The swirl right you know so you hold it from the bottom so you don't heat up the, the liquor mm -hmm. um, but you can do the, the nice little spin maneuver like you would in a, a copita for a wine tasting but and then this one channels the uh, I'm more of a beer tasting I know type well it's just person. the same thing they have <laughs> you know they have special shaped glasses for different types of beer right yeah I'm just like give it to me a bottle can glass whatever <laughs> yeah yeah all right, so what does it smell like to you? Um, it smells kind of like white wine mixed with some sort of wood. Hmm, okay. I'm getting, uh, I'm definitely getting a vanilla mm. in there. Um, I can tell that this is going to have a little bite to it. That nose prickling feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is, uh... How much alcohol is this? This is 40% alcohol, so that's only 80 proof. I'm kind of surprised here, but it smells like it's going to have a little bite. Definitely warm to the nose. All right, well, let's, uh, let's give it a little sip. Cheers. All right, so you want to chew it around in your mouth a little bit. Make sure you cover all the surfaces. Just a little swig. So my first impression is, ow, um, <laughs> Bernie and fire, but maybe that's just because I'm a wimp and I drink things mixed and beer, but I definitely get a pear and then most like wood or leather taste to it afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really. It's good that you're picking up on the pear. That um, that is one of the flavors that they say is supposed to be in there is uh, the vanilla, the pear, apple, and cream. Um, I'm not really picking up on any of this actually. It's pretty Just warm. The, the fire and the owl <laughs> and the burn. Um, it's pretty warm. Um, little bit of wine taste. Um. A little bit of fruit, but I, I can't really put a finger on apple or pear. Mm -hmm. Just kind of fruity. Um, Has that crispness that pear generally yeah, has? Yeah, I so. could see like the crispness of mm -hmm. an apple. Um, 
the finish is really short on it. I barely have any flavor in my mouth anymore. How about you? Yeah, I would say that it's pretty short yeah. also. Um, why don't you talk about the color of the... Yeah, so um, whiskey. The, the color here of our scotch whiskey is a fairly light amber color. Um, lighter than most honeys, um, but not, not bad. You'll, you'll get that lighter color with uh, whiskeys that aren't aged as, as much. Yeah, and like first impression, you'd think it would be weak. With just like how light this is, and it's pretty thin. Yeah. I mean, you can. It doesn't really coat you know, the you glass. Can, yeah, it doesn't anything. coat the glass. I don't know if you guys can see this well, but I mean, it just kind of falls right back, right back down. Doesn't doesn't really uh, stick to the sides of the glass at all. Mm. So, would you recommend this to first time drinkers? I probably would recommend this for somebody that's getting into single single malt scotches. Mm. Um, it's pretty simple. There's not a lot of complexity. I think anybody would be happy if you brought this to a party or a uh, a scotch tasting. Mm, okay. Um, they actually do recommend this as something to calibrate your palate on. Okay. So it's a uh, it's not bad. I want to want to get another swig here and see what I get in that finish. Mm, okay. And then I know that controversial opinion some. People add water to their scotch. I think that we should just try it to see how it goes mm -hmm. um, and give our first impressions if we are pro water or con water. So I do like a little bit of water in my scotch. Um, I like my scotch over ice mm. and that's actually really controversial. <laughs> um, but that's how I like it. And, you know, so you guys at home, try it out yourself to determine what you like and don't like and what works for you and what doesn't. All right, let me give you a little little splash of water there. Thanks, love. Mm -hmm. The most well, important thing, I think, is just to find something that you like and enjoy and do absolutely. something that you... Yeah, absolutely. Want to learn more about. All right, so a little bit of water in here. That'll take... That'll really cut that kind of fire out of there, so... Let's go ahead and give it another another swig. Yeah, it's not as warm to the nose anymore. Okay, see, I get the opposite. Really? Like, it made my eyes burn. Try try not sticking your nose, like, into the glass. Just kind of, like, waft. Apparently, I don't know how to smell right. I know it smelled like maple syrup for a second. That's odd. <laughs> I can see why it's controversial to add water because it's awful. <laughs> cool. It definitely makes it taste more like cork to me. Mm. And it's definitely cuts out like any real flavor. It's very watered down, obviously. Um, I am not a fan of the adding you the water. It straight? Yeah, You're, surprisingly. You are hardcore lady. <laughs> um yeah, I'm kind of I'm on the same boat. I uh, I don't think I would add so much water. I do like the ice in there because mm. it will kind of slowly melt and it'll take it off, uh, take that edge off slowly. Um, it's not really bringing out a lot of other flavors mm -hmm. for me. Um, it like masks it all pretty much. To yeah, me. it kind of it it does it dulls it. I would say mm -hmm. um, a lot of times people think that it it kind of it can bring the the a different nose out or a different definitely flavor. i got maple yeah yeah which you is definitely really odd different but the 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 flavors are more muted did they say maple was one of those things that you should be smelling Anything? no oh. i i haven't okay. heard that before maybe so. i'm crazy <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i don't know you guys should try out see what you guys like let us know in the comments are you pro water or con water and um, maybe it's just something that goes well with different scotches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cheers. See you guys next time and, uh, have a great week or month or whatnot. Drink responsibly.